What's going on guys, it's Jack. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I've got a good one. We've got four of my favorite breakfast recipes. Of course, healthy, low calorie, high protein. First things first, we're gonna get right into it with our first meal. We've got our eggs here, whole eggs and egg whites. We've got some turkey sausage, you can use links or patties. We've got a potato right here where we're making some home fries with cheese and butter as well. We're gonna waste no time and get right into cooking. First thing you'll do is go ahead and cut up your potatoes. This is pretty much based off preference, how thick you want the actual home fries to be. I prefer a smaller home fry, so we'll dice those up nicely, and then we'll actually air fry these, and then we'll go ahead and throw some foil down. I do this just because it makes the cleanup super easy. We'll spray the bottom with a little bit of olive oil spray, add in our home fries, spray it a little bit more, then we'll add our salt and pepper on top, give it a good shake and go ahead and put that in the air fryer. 365 for 10 minutes. I recommend shaking at least halfway, but you could also shake it two or three times throughout the cooking process. Next thing we'll do is move on to our eggs. So this is where you have a little bit of preference or depending on your macros, you can change things up. I personally will be making three whole eggs with 100 grams of egg whites but you could do more whole eggs if you have more calories and want more fat, or you can do less whole eggs and more egg whites if you want a little bit more protein and less fat. But I found three whole eggs and 100 grams of egg whites still gives me that really rich egg flavor. So we'll go ahead and turn on the stove. We'll be using butter instead of olive oil spray for this. I find it tastes that much better. And yes, we will be accounting for the butter. It's about 15 grams, so nothing crazy but we'll get the butter melted on there and then go ahead and crack our three eggs in. Once we have our three eggs in, then I'll weigh out my egg whites. Go ahead, set the scanner to zero, pour out those egg whites and then set it back on the scale. If it reads 100, perfect. If not, don't worry too much about it, just the best you can. Then we'll go ahead and mix that up, give it a good scramble once it's in the actual pan then add our salt and pepper, and then cook that to your desired texture. I do like to leave it on the slightly underdone side because you don't want that rubbery eggs if you overcook them. Also, at this point, we'll go ahead and add our cheese. I like to add my cheese as the eggs are cooking in the pan. You could also do it afterwards. I just find it's more cohesive and makes it taste a little bit better when you mix it in on the pan. It does create a little bit of a mess in the pan, just an FYI. Then we'll go ahead and make our turkey sausage patties. I found these from Jimmy Dean and really enjoy them. They also have some links that are pretty good, but you'll just follow the directions on the back. We're just gonna microwave two patties. It's gonna take 35 to 40 seconds, and those are super simple. The very last part is assembly, so we're gonna go ahead and take our eggs, put them on our plate with our turkey sausage, and once our home fries are done, add those on top. And as you can see, this is one full plate. This is a lot of food, but it tastes oh so good, and breakfast is served. And here's my take on the American breakfast. A little bit different, no pancakes, a little bit healthier, but we've got our home fries. They're cooked to perfection. I will say they're golden brown, nice and crispy. We've got our two sausage patties right there, just microwave, not too healthy, but the best we can do. Then we've got our eggs. We've got three whole eggs, a couple egg whites, and then some Cholula hot sauce and cheese in there. Of course, we need our micronutrients as well, so I'm gonna be having some carrots and one cut up orange. I am in love with oranges lately, so had to include those in the breakfast. I'll read off the macros real quick for this entire meal. For this entire meal, it is 730 calories, 65 grams of carbs, 29 grams of fat, and 51 grams of protein. It is on the little higher side for a single meal, but you could easily make a few changes, like I mentioned before, maybe half of a potato, only one sausage patty, less whole eggs, all that kind of stuff. But this is meal number one. I'm gonna absolutely devour this, and I'll see you guys at our breakfast option number two. Real quick, I've got a bonus breakfast meal for you guys. It is Magic Spoon. It is a delicious cereal that is guilt-free. It is super high in protein and literally takes under 30 seconds to put together. As you guys just saw, it literally took me 30 seconds to get a nice bowl of cereal. Mm. That tastes absolutely delicious and it's completely guilt-free. It is high protein, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown-ups. And I cannot agree with that more. My personal favorite is the Honey Grahams. It is delicious, it is sweet. I can literally eat an entire box of this stuff. 
As you guys know, in Jack's Kitchen, we are all about the macros. Magic Spoon has some of the best on a cereal I've ever seen. It is 140 calories per serving, 13 to 14 grams of protein, zero sugar, and only four net carbs. That 100% gets my stamp of approval. If you guys want to pick up some Magic Spoon for yourself, visit the link in the description down below. Use Perez5 for $5 off your first order, or visit Magic Spoon slash Perez5. Another great thing is the 100% happiness guarantee. If you don't absolutely love this cereal for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked, but I'm pretty sure you'll like it just as much as I do. Our second high protein breakfast is gonna be some chicken and waffles. For chicken, we just have some basic chicken thighs right here, two of them, 10 ounces total, and then we'll be adding some seasoning on there. And then for our waffle mixture, I'll read off all this, but flour, egg whites, almond milk, Greek yogurt, some baking powder, Splenda packets, and then of course some sugar-free syrup to top it all off. And yeah, let's just get cooking. I am stoked. This is one of my favorite meals. Also, comment down below. Are you team waffle, pancake, or French toast? Personally, team waffle, but you guys gotta let me know. Waffle, pancake, French toast, let me know down in the comments below, and let's get cooking. For our chicken, it's gonna be very basic. Two chicken thighs, cover it in whatever seasoning you want. I am going to use this chicken rub from Famous Dave's. I've actually never tried it before, so we're gonna give it a shot today. It shouldn't be too spicy. I've had recommendations about it before, so we're gonna use that. Go ahead, season both sides of the chicken thoroughly. Once again, we're gonna throw some foil down, give it a little bit of olive oil spray, place our chicken in there. Then we'll use a little bit more olive oil spray on top, and then we're gonna use the air fryer at 365 degrees for 12 minutes flip halfway around the five or six minute mark. And then we'll go ahead and make our waffle mixture. So we'll start with our dry ingredients. Go ahead and add 100 grams of all-purpose flour into the bowl, our three packets of a zero calorie sweetener. Then we'll add our baking soda. I use one teaspoon. Then we'll add our wet ingredients. So we'll have 70 grams of egg whites, 75 grams of almond milk, 50 grams of vanilla Greek yogurt, and then just a splash of vanilla extract or about a teaspoon. Once we have all that, go ahead and mix that up real well. Once you have your batter-like consistency, I'll go ahead and use a Belgian waffle maker, but any waffle maker should work. Go ahead and let that heat up, and then we're gonna hit that with some non-stick spray, olive oil spray, and then we'll go ahead and portion out our batter. It should make about four waffles for me. Obviously, if you have a different waffle maker, you just have to base it off of how many you can make, but it should make four waffles for me, so I'll go ahead and spread that out, close that, and let it cook for about four to five minutes. Then we'll go ahead and repeat the process for the rest of the batter, and then we'll have our waffles, and then we'll go ahead, plate that all up, our waffles, our chicken, and then of course, our sugar-free syrup on top. All right, I am <laughs> actually stoked. I am very pleased how this came out. Of course, we gotta give this one a taste test. It is, oh, it looks so good. Cut into our chicken. Bam, and then we'll take a little bit of our waffle here. That would have been catastrophic. Oh my goodness, okay. We're gonna fold this in. This is definitely the worst plate I could have picked for this, but it looked like it would be a good one, and it was all white, which is key for pictures. Oh my goodness, all right. We're already making a mess, absolute carnage, but we're gonna try to eat all this. All right, big bite. Yep, yep, this is it. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, macros, okay. This is a higher calorie meal, but you could definitely pare it down, do two waffles, one chicken thigh. But for my two chicken thighs and the four waffles, it comes out to be 911 calories, 110 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat, and 78 grams of protein. So like I said, if you wanna pare it down, cut it in half, it would be what, 455 calories, 55 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat and 40 grams of protein. So that would be another great option. Just basically pare down all the ingredients I had, cut them in half, chicken thighs, use five ounces instead of 10, and you'll be golden. But I am so excited digging this. Mm. And I'll see you guys at breakfast number three. Our third high protein breakfast is probably the easiest one out of them all, but also very customizable. It is gonna be some protein oats or proats. So we have our oatmeal right here. I'm gonna use two packets of this maple brown sugar, reduced sugar from Kroger, super cheap and very quick to make. So we're gonna use two packets of that. 
We're also gonna top it with our protein of choice. This is the Cereal Splash Transparent Labs Whey Protein Isolate. So we've got that. And then we're also gonna have a little bit of almond milk to start. Super simple, take our two packets of oatmeal, tear those down, pour our oats into a microwave safe bowl, boom. And then the really nice thing about these, this is actually how I measure my water. So go ahead, fill one of those up with water. Boom. And then that'll be the amount of water we use for our oats. I spilled a little bit, so we're gonna add a little bit more. And then just give that a mix with your finger. And then this will go in the microwave for two minutes and 30 seconds. And then while that's in the microwave, we'll go ahead and cut up our apple. You can use whatever toppings you want. Any sort of fruit is really good. You can you know, throw some almonds or nuts in there. We're gonna use an apple as well as some cinnamon in mine. So we need to cut this up real quick. And here we have our oats, nice and warm. First thing we're gonna do is add our protein. So take a scoop. Or a little bit more than a scoop and throw that on top. Boom. And then we'll add our splash of almond milk. I never measure this out. Start by adding just a little bit and then mix it up. If you need to add more, add more. You can't really take milk out. You can add more milk back in. We're gonna give that a good stir. Once our protein is nice and mixed in, we'll go ahead and add all of our apples. As you can see, I ate the rest of the core and then the edges we're actually gonna save, just eat those on their own. So go ahead and get all your apples in there. And then you're just gonna to top it off with a little bit of cinnamon. And just like that, you have your protes. Hopefully you guys can see that, kinda, maybe a little bit. But it is super simple, literally just took me two and a half minutes to make. Like I said, you can customize it, put whatever toppings or fruits you want. I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this. I've got one meal left, protein pancakes, a staple in any high protein breakfast video. Here we have our fourth high protein breakfast option, protein pancakes. We've got flour, baking powder, our Transparent Labs protein. We've got some little packets of zero calorie sweetener, egg whites, almond milk, vanilla Greek yogurt, and then we've got some a little bit of vanilla extract as well. Then we've got our topping options. You can really use whatever you want, but I'm gonna be making chocolate chip pancakes and then adding some strawberries on top, and then our sugar-free syrup, of course. And then, yeah, pretty basic, but we'll go ahead and whip this all together. The first thing we'll need to do is go ahead and add our dry ingredients to a mixing bowl. We're gonna use 75 grams of flour, and then 40 grams of your protein of choice, so that should be a little bit over a scoop. Then we'll go ahead and add our teaspoon of baking powder and then three to four packets of your zero calorie sweetener. Once we have our dry ingredients, then we can go ahead and add in our wet. So we're gonna use 75 grams of egg whites, 75 milliliters of almond milk, and then our yogurt, we are gonna use 113 grams. Then the last thing we'll do is a splash of vanilla extract for taste and then go ahead and give that a really good mix. Once we have your batter formed, go ahead, head over to the stove, take a pan out and put that at medium or medium low heat. Let that warm up and then hit that with some nonstick or butter, kind of your choice. And we'll be going with four small circles of our batter. I personally am a stack guy, so I build multiple smaller pancakes and stack them up. Or you can do one big one. It's totally up to you, whatever preference you have but we're gonna go four small pancakes. Once we have our batter down, then you can add your toppings. Like I said, we're going with chocolate chips for this one. So go ahead, add your chocolate chips. Let that cook for about two or three minutes aside until you see some small bubbles rise. And then go ahead and give that a flip for another two or three minutes on one side. And then repeat the process with the rest of your batter. Now that you've got your pancakes completely cooked, you should have a nice stack on a plate. Go ahead and add whatever fruits and toppings you want. I'm going with strawberries and of course our sugar-free syrup. And here we have our protein pancakes. As you saw, there's a slight fail on the cooking side. User error, I burnt the first batch just a touch. So we turned down the stove a hair and the next three came out almost perfect. The great thing about pancakes, you can hide your blunders at the bottom of the stack. So we have my best looking pancakes at the very top. And yeah, no one will ever know besides you guys who watched me burn them. But other than that, I'll go ahead and read off the macros for you guys. So for this entire meal, including the strawberries and syrup, it is 700 calories. It is 105 grams of carbs, seven grams of fat, and 55 grams of protein. 
absolutely fantastic. I am going to absolutely dig in. So first things first, we gotta do a taste test, obviously. Get a couple pieces. Boom, there we got two pieces and strawberries. You can see it's still warm. Yep, yep, those are fire. Absolutely delicious. And that wraps up the video today. Four pretty simple high protein meal ideas. Hope you guys give them a try. Let me know if you do. Otherwise, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.